friends, I'm here with a fashion color wig from Renee of Paris. This is Lush Waves from their Muse collection. The Muse collection has really fun fashion type synthetic wigs, heat friendly synthetic wigs I should say. This is a heat friendly synthetic and I'm going to tell you all about her. We're going to look at this color, Lilac Cloud, inside and outside. So if you want to know more, you know what to do. My name is Denise. I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. I'm partnering with Renee of Paris on this review. They sent me this piece along with, I think, all of their Muse collection waves pieces. So if you are a fashion wig girly, if you love kind of fashion colors or really fun styles, you'll want to see all of my reviews from this series because they have a ton of waves styles like lush waves. Let's take a look at this one from all sides. Now I will link this piece to the Name Brand Wigs website because I have a coupon code that will save you 30%. That brings the price of this piece to about $123. So um, kind of more budget for a synthetic wig. And you know, Renee of Paris is a major name brand. You know you're gonna get consistent quality from that versus an Amazon wig where you never know what you're really gonna get. Now these Muse series wigs most of them come in fashion colors. I think each one has a brunette and a blonde that is, you know, kind of the normal hair color. Otherwise, they have some really fun fashion colors. And I've gotten a piece in almost all those fashion colors, so I'll be able to show you each one of them in case you've ever looked at those and been curious about maybe if it's something you might want to wear. Now, this is really lush. I think the name it's well named, let me just put it that way. I would say this is a um, moderate density, maybe even moderate to heavy density. And honestly, because of the fringe on this one, I think it would be a great ponytail wig, really good. So if you love to wear your hair up in ponytails and you love kind of curls and waves, this could be a great one for updos, ponytails. Because of this fringe, face framing layers, it really does help with the realism on this piece. It does have a lace front though, so if you don't like bangs in your eyes, you can sweep these to the side, or because it does have a lace front, you can clip them up and show that lace front off. There's that lace front right there. And then we also have a mono part. Let me take this off and show that to you. Now these bangs are a little long for me, so if I wanted to wear this with a full bang, I would have to trim them. I have a two and a half inch measurement for my hairline to where I'd want the bangs to fall. This is kind of a partial mono almost. So we've got a lace front, and then this is a center part, but look at how wide that part is. It is wide enough to do an off-center, either left or right part, so you aren't stuck with a strict center part if you don't like center parts. We have ear tabs with soft material and bendable stays, an extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and the rest is closed wefted. And I really, personally, I really like closed wefted wigs, so I'm really glad that this one has been made closed wefted. So to get into the wig, I like to just dive in. I put my forehead on the lace, pull it over the back, flip up, adjust by the ear tabs, and then straighten her out. Because this one is a more kind of heavy density, I would say that um, for me personally, if it's a really hot day, I probably would want to wear this one up, which is why I wanted to mention updo potential. One of my favorite updos is to do a twist in the back and then stick a claw clip in and let all of those curls spill over. I think that makes a really darling updo. And let me just show you what I mean. So when I've got that lace where it should be, this is the bangs on me. This is really common. And because I have a relatively short forehead measurement, wigs that have bangs that fit me perfectly tend to be a little bit too short on others. So I made a video showing how to take a thinning razor to trim up bangs. It is really foolproof. Anyone can do it. I do not have cutting skills. And sometimes it can take more dexterity than I have but the razor works perfectly. I'll link that video below. I've heard from many, many wig sisters who have cut bangs in their wigs 
based on that video successfully so don't be afraid now like i said earlier this is a heat friendly wig they call it a high heat friendly piece and i actually don't know so what i love is the tag comes with some styling instructions inside it looks like it says keep the heat setting at 300 degrees or lower and so if you wanted to add more curl or straighten this piece out a little bit you can take just heat tools that you would use on your bio hair as long as it has a heat setting so you can control the heat and you can modify this style to your heart's content now when i took this piece out of the box the curls were extremely formed it's like they put the curls in and then didn't do anything with them so i have combed through this with a wide tooth comb to separate and relax those curls a little bit i do have an unboxing if I can remember to put that on the end of this video, I will do that. I share it on Instagram and Facebook, which is why I do those unboxings. You can see those curls. But if I don't remember, I wanted to mention it. So if you get it out of the box, don't think, oh, mine doesn't look like Denise's. Often curly wigs, they don't comb out those curls when they put them in so that they will maintain their shape until they get to you. And so all you have to do is comb through them. If when you comb through it, you relax the curl more than you wanted to, a water spray bottle with water only. Spray it, scrunch it, and you can bring some of that curl back. So keep that in mind. Synthetic wigs are super easy. These curls are baked in. You're not gonna have to restyle this one even after washing. Let's talk about fit. I am finding this piece to be a little big on me. I have a 21 and a quarter circumference and very petite over the top of my head measurements. I do have to cinch this in in order to get a comfortable fit and I am getting extra cap up here. So I would say this is running pretty true to average. Um, it, I can wear it comfortably but it definitely is running a little big on me. So look at my measurements below and if you're bigger than me by a fair amount I do think this is going to fit you. So I would call this true to average. And let's talk about color. Lilac Cloud. I would call this a smoky lilac almost like a gray lilac so what i'm seeing here are some gray undertones and then lilac highlights so it's almost like a, a, a and it's a little bit darker than lilac i would say sort of a lilac-y purple highlighted gray piece i would think that in some lighting this is going to look like a softer purple and a little bit more gray so i think there's going to be some variation in how this pulls but the purple is it's like a pinky purple and it's pretty pronounced so i've reviewed some kind of lilac hued wigs in the past and sometimes you can't see any of the purple in some lighting on this piece you're absolutely going to be able oh look at how cute Kind of a fair faucet bang there. I think in some lighting, or in this piece, you're always gonna be able to see that purple. It's not super subtle, but it is a smoky kind of gray purple. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. Remember, this piece does come in a handful of colors, not a ton, but it does come in a, a like a marble brown and a blonde, I believe. So if fashion colors aren't your thing and you like the style, you do have a couple of other choices. Thanks for watching and thanks to Renee of Paris for sending me this one so I could have a chance to show everybody. Reviews, in my opinion, are critical to making good purchasing decisions. Talk to you soon. Here we go. I just took her out of the box, did my unboxing, and ran a wide tooth comb through her. Haven't even reviewed it yet. Didn't play with her, nothing. I think we've got bugs coming out for the first time this season. Fun color for all my fashion color girlies. You love fashion colors and you love pastel -y colors. There you go. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.